from visual symbols to word recognition. Reading requires explicit instruction. Children are capable of understanding and speaking languages quickly. Yet learning to read is not as easy for children. It is hard for children to learn to read without being taught. In most cases, adults need to show them how to do it. Children begin by learning the basic visual symbols in their language. Children must then understand how these visual symbols come together to form words. Learning to read words on a page is called word recognition. There are two levels to this kind of understanding. On one level, children can use their phonological skills to make connections between sound and print. On another level, children develop the sense of how a word should be written. This ability to recognize words visually or using visual print information is called orthographic processing. Both phonological skills and orthographic processing are important for children to read and write words. How can you help them develop these skills? It is important to adjust your techniques to match children's skills. You know what will help children partly based on your own experiences. It is also important to pay attention to what is suitable to your script. Here are some examples of techniques used to help children to read and to write. Making sound print connections, phonics. Phonics basically means that the symbol sound correspondences are learned systematically. This could be at the syllable or phoneme level. Korean Hangul, Aksharas, and Chinese characters are probably all learned more at the syllable than the phoneme level. Some other languages may emphasize the phoneme level. For example, in many African languages, such as Chinyanja, the relationships between letters and sounds are consistent, so awareness of phoneme sounds is important. In English, the phoneme level is important, but so is the syllable level, and other units, such as the rhyme unit. For example, we memorize ought as in brought, sought, and fought. You will learn more about different levels of phonological awareness, syllable, onset rhyme, and phoneme in Module 3. To become a good reader, it is important to know the basic rules of phonics in your writing system. Rules are helpful because children can be taught how reading in their language works some or most of the time. It is better to teach rules even if these rules don't apply all the time. When children know the rules, they don't have to memorize how to read each word correctly. For example, the letter P usually makes the P sound. This could help children to learn to read English words such as pat, pitch, and flap. Children who are taught phonics are better readers and spellers. When children know the rules, they can remember more. In many scripts and languages, there are also exceptions. An exception word does not fit the rules. In English, pint and no are exception words. Once children know some rules, they can learn the exceptions too. Teach the symbol sound correspondences that are easiest first. This will help children to feel confident and remember more early. Making visual print connections, orthographic processing. How do you know if a word looks right? Even very young children can sometimes spot when words look like they could be written in their language or script. In experiments, a child asked to pick which word is more word-like tends to select the one that fits the rules of her language more than 50% of the time. For example, given a choice between these two, a child is more likely to pick gelatare as a possible real word. Why? In English, SS cannot begin a word. Even if we know the rules of a language, we cannot rely on symbol sound associations only. 
In English, we learn the rhyme segment ought as in brought, sought, or fought. If we only used symbol sound associations, we would pronounce ought in different ways. It looks like augahat. Furthermore, we would spell words incorrectly. Wednesday with a Z seems like a better way to spell Wednesday, and pneumonia without a P is better than pneumonia. The word for an ancient Egyptian king, a pharaoh, should be spelled F-A-I-R-O, but it is not. This is why orthographic processing skills are also important for reading and writing. There are many ways that children can practice their orthographic skills to remember what words look like visually. Here are just some of them. Memorization can be used to learn letters or other visual symbols as well as characters or words. Find fun ways to memorize. One way to memorize is to use flashcards. In figures one, two, and three, words are paired with pictures. This helps children with sound and meaning. Visualization. Children can read and write words when adults give them clues about the shapes of letters. A Spanish adult could say that the letter M looks like two mountains put together. Visualization is a very common teaching method in Chinese. Some Chinese characters were created to look like some things in real life. An adult can give children clues about the shape of the word mountain by showing pictures of a mountain. Both this character and M can remind us of mountains through visualization. Copying. Adults help children to write by giving them examples to copy. In alphabetic systems, younger children trace dotted lines to write letters in words. In Chinese, there are thousands of characters. You need to know about 3,000 characters to read a newspaper. Copying practice is used to help Chinese children remember these characters better. But it is also important to remember certain rules of writing in Chinese. Younger Chinese children are often asked to copy or trace words in a specific stroke order. Numbers indicate which step the line or curve is written in. Stroke order is an important aspect of education in this writing system. Children can also copy just by using their finger. Use your finger to write a grapheme on the table. Then ask the child to do the same. In this case, they will not see the grapheme after you write it. They have to remember what you did. Copying is important everywhere, but especially in China, India, and elsewhere where the writing system is very visually complicated. Activities that focus on word spelling. A focus on the spelling of words is important to develop word recognition. One way is looking at homophones and asking children to pick the right one. For example, ask them this question. What is the opposite of yes? Is it no or no? Children need to know how the word is written in order to answer this correctly. Dictation tests are traditional ways of practicing spelling. Ask children to write down the words you read to them in a sentence. This helps them to recall how to write them. But be careful. One thing that teachers should not do is to provide a mix of real and false versions of the same word and ask the child to pick the correct one. An example would be the following. Select the correct spelling of this word and then provide three spellings of the word with only one that is correct. The problem with this sort of exercise is that it confuses everyone. You should try only to give the child the correct models of words so that he or she does not confuse them. A great way to make writing fun 
is to ask children to write with different materials. They might like to write with chalk, a new pen, crayons, or with paint. You can also ask them to write in the sand or on another child's back. You can ask one child, A, to write on another child's, B, back. Child A should not tell child B what she wrote. Then, child B has to guess the word or letter. It is easier to memorize words or graphemes if they are meaningful. Be creative in making them meaningful. Another way is to demonstrate how different arrangements of print can lead to big confusion. It could be helpful to show how misspellings can signal changes in meanings. An anagram is a word that can be rearranged to make other words. Examples are ate, tea, and eat, or now, own, and won, or stop, tops, pots, spot, and ops. Making a game of spelling anagrams might get children to understand the importance of correct spelling. Other activities that can help make spelling better are crossword puzzles or word searches. For young children, word shapes or asking children to fill up each box with one letter might help. You can see that the words pit, good, bug, clue, and train have distinct shapes. Summary. There are many ways to help children to read and to write. One way is to help them develop symbol sound or sound print connections. Another way is by developing children's orthographic or visual print skills. Both are important skills for children to master. Phonics, memorization, visualization, copying, and spelling-focused activities are useful teaching techniques. Some techniques are better than others in different situations. Always pay attention to what is helpful for children at their age and their level of reading skills.